If you live in Houston or Dallas, well, you're fine. The storm track is way off to the north of you. As you can see there's one in Montana and Idaho and Wyoming. It's snowing there. There's another storm coming through the flow, and still another one has got us soaked here in uh, Connecticut and back into New Jersey and Pennsylvania. One, two, three, and then there's a fourth storm way out here. Well, each one of these can produce severe thunderstorms. On the tail of this one, back into North Carolina here today, near this one, near a warm front that sits just north of Little Rock and Memphis, temperatures in the 60s here, 80s here, and then as this storm comes out and the next one takes root in the nation's heartland, so we are going to have at least four rounds of severe thunderstorms. Well, each and every day, they're going to be severe thunderstorms. There's our main storm track across the country. There's the, and you'll notice that the dips are where the inclement weather uh, is. One, two, three, and there's the fourth dip just off the, the uh, coast. That'll be for Tuesday and Wednesday here in the nation's heartland. So you better be ready for this, my friend. When it starts warming up and the humidity is back and then storms are coming in over the top, that's like everything's ready. You've got the fuel, you've got the, uh, what, the oxygen, and you've got the spark for a fire. It's the same kind of thing here. We've got convergence, air coming in toward low pressure, each one of these storms. We've got the moisture in the atmosphere. That's back. It's no longer dry. You're not waking up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom, and then every, everything you touch, you get zapped, unless it's super dry in your house. But the moisture is back. Those, store, those old wooden doors will be sticking here. Uh, pretty soon if they're not already. And we've got red on the map. One batch of red here, one batch of red there. Tornadoes are definitely a possibility in this batch of red through the Tennessee River Valley. Now what if a tornado warning were sounded and you didn't know about it? You were on the road, you're on your way back from work. You were going somewhere. You were kind of out of touch with the weather channel and your weather radio. What would you do if you saw a funnel over there or lowering clouds and you're in your car and maybe you can't move, maybe you're stuck in traffic. What's the safest thing to do? Watch this. If you're in the path of a tornado, just about the worst place you could be is in your car. Vehicles can easily be tossed around by a twister. If the tornado is quite a distance away, just try to drive away from where the tornado is going. When looking at the tornado, if it appears to be moving to the right or left, it's not coming toward you. Still, if it seems to be close, you should try to drive away from it. If the tornado appears to be getting larger and coming towards you, this is when you need to abandon your car. Ideally, head for a sturdy shelter, but that's not always possible. If the tornado is upon you, try to get out of the car, get as far away from it as you can into a low-lying area like a ditch to protect yourself from flying debris. So that's the smartest thing to do. And by the way, the tornado we saw in that story was one that you could see pretty well. Uh, here in the plains and in the west, uh, there's less moisture, there's less hazy in the air, and quite often you can see tornadoes out there. But east of the Mississippi River in particular, or east of the plains, and it gets hilly and it's moist and it's hazier, it's tough to see a tornado. It might be wrapped up in rain. And you just see a heavy wall of rain, you figure, all right, well, here we go. So you gotta know what you are doing this time of year before you hit the road. Once again, severe threat. This is going to be tomorrow, a little further south and west of where we're forecasting today. So that would be Chanute, Kansas, all the way to Hattiesburg, Mississippi, and then on Sunday, points east, with rain developing around the Great Lakes into the Ohio Valley, spreading into New York City by Sunday night. Rest of the country looks fine until that next storm out over the Gulf of Alaska moves in here. That'll be the storm for the middle of the country Tuesday and Wednesday. But here's a look at the weekend, my friend. You know, I don't want to sound too dark about this, but you just have to be ready for severe weather. 85 tomorrow in Atlanta, 46 in Bismarck, cold, warm, jet stream in between. Zipping storms moving across the country. That's why you're a threat for severe weather. That, my friend, is a look at severe weather, what you do in a tornado, the forecast for the weekend. All we've got to do now is get your local on the 8s. That's next. I inhabit the night.